Hi, well, welcome to CSIS, all the new members. It's a new group. Uh, we're here on February 10th. It's four o'clock. The temperature is 39 degrees. This is Wigwam Brook in Wigwam State Forest in Thomaston, Connecticut, just above, above Black Rock State Park. We're about to move over to the Mattituck Trail. Um, we came here because there's fresh snow, but if you look around now, there is no snow on the ground because that's New England. Um, so we're out here on location, just saying hi to everybody, just looking around. I've never been here before, but it's definitely squatchy. And we're gonna move along and take some more videos and talk a little bit about what we do and what we're looking for. Again, I like to be in places like this because on either side of us, uh, save for this trail, is no trespassing. This is all MDC property. And uh, yeah, the MDC, you know, they don't let you go anywhere. So they are basically these huge wildlife sanctuaries. And uh, that's where you're gonna see some good stuff. So let's go see what we can find. We, we've never been here and we're just out having fun. Welcome to CSIS. Here we are, you can see it's foot travel only at the Mattituck Trail and Farnham Road. This is a blue blaze hiking trail. They sprawl all throughout New England and ultimately connect to the Appalachian Trail. Okay, so we came out to do some tracking. And let me give you an example of what we're doing with you. I thought there would be fresh snow. So I weigh about 700 pounds, which is damn near squatchy. <laughs> and uh, you see, that's pretty indistinct. So it's hard to, it's gonna be hard to sort of see any game trails, although look at right away, right away, right here. Look what we got here. There's clear deer tracks going right here. So already I'm seeing a forage base of deer. Right here. Uh, that's about, that's a good sized deer. All right, we continue on our hike and we'll talk more. Look, Squatch, dog man, or whatever. <laughs> Just crazy people like us out in the world. Take a, a video looking this way in this rock. So, uh, here we have a heart shaped rock. I know it's Valentine's is coming up, so there you go, your Valentine gift from CSIS. All right, stop, stop filming, come on, I gotta, I gotta be serious. Okay, so we're gonna do some call taps in a little while. Um, so my general impression of this place, if you pan around, uh, it's hilly. This is definitely not an easy hike. A lot of water. It's, it's crazy dense in here. I mean, I'm seeing chewed up acorns, uneaten acorns, hemlock boughs, which the deer will eat. Uh, it's squatchy. It's like squatchy off the freaking charts. I'm gonna go ahead and eat an acorn. Huh? I'm good and fresh. Local and organic. I'm actually gonna save it for the freaking. And we'll talk in a bit. Okay, Connecticut Cryptid Investigative Society. We're gonna call tap, as we talked about earlier, at Wigwam Brook, Wigwam State Forest here, just off of Black Rock. I talked a little bit about call tapping in the other video, and we're going to use this tree here, and we're going to this tap, we'll be right around here, so the sound should amplify there, we've got a nice wall to echo it here, the valley with the river down below, we got a little bit away from the river, because that, after it just rained and the melt, it's swollen, it's just beautiful, so I'm going to, I'm going to whack this thing, this looks like a hemlock a tree that I snapped part of it off, and we're going to whack this thing. And we're gonna wait and just listen to see what happens. Um, give it maybe a minute. Just gonna whack it good.
squatchy as it's, it's as squatchy as I am. Everybody should have their own power. person is saying to speak up louder. This river is very loud. Pretty sure I heard a banging noise. It could have been a it could have been a shotgun. I don't know. I don't think there's hunting here. But uh, I heard it come from this direction. We stopped here because it's just incredible incredibly beautiful. Uh, this is what you know squatching is all about. It's fun. You don't need a license. You're not carrying any weapons. At least I'm not. Um, Definitely want to, you know, have some orange on you or something, because as you heard, or as I heard. Anyway, this board is awesome. We're gonna go do another call. We're not gonna do any more call taps. We're just gonna do some howls and, and then we listen. We'll be up the trail. tapping season too so this is the time all right she's saying pick up this stick I'm not gonna do another call tap I'm gonna do howls so we're gonna leave that there plenty of uh, tools out here if you want to do some tree whack maybe take my advice and just try one and then maybe two that's it okay, it up. okay so we're gonna do a, a howl again which is just howling do it however you like um, pan around Look at this ridge, and then it just tapers down, and we got a ridge on this side. We're here on this spot because this is a great spot to just watch something coming for some water. Wouldn't immediately see us. I took the natural taper down to the water here. The sound's going to carry down that way. If you pan over here, you'll see it just funnels down. So we're going to do a howl, and we're going to do uh, an experiment. You always hear me howl. But we're going to hear from the camera woman who wants to remain anonymous and she's going to do a howl and then like before we're just going to wait and listen and I'll pan the camera around while our camera woman does a Sasquatch call and some people you've probably seen on the History Channel these guys um, and women claiming that um, women get 
a lot more responses. I'm not even going to speculate on the theory, we're just going to give it a try. Okay. no birds noises out here you hear this you hear about this phenomenon um, when these squatches and, and bears and stuff when they're around it goes quiet other than the loud brook it's dead quiet in here but you hear these in this direction and our camera woman sit down in that direction um, I thought I heard a, a hall tap response Ridge, you know, you could ambush something. Think like a hunter. Yeah, this place is watching. I don't see any deer. Acorns all over the place. Of course, with the snow pack just recently being melted, um, a lot of these animals would have left their tracks in the snow, and it's not here now. But, um, we're on this Blue Blaze Trail here, Mattituck Trail. It's it's off the charts, you know, uh, on the squatch meter I'm being told to stop rambling on and shut the camera off, but on the squatch meter this is up there. This is up there with Franklin Swamp and uh, Nessie and uh, Robin Swamp. This place is right up there with it. Alright, talk more. Alright, we got another, this ridge is all over the place. I'm up against this glacial erratic granite moss covered boulder. It's been here almost as long as I have. We've got a story to tell, but we're not we're not gonna go there. We're just watching. Hope we don't get a dog man. Uh, it's warm enough for the bears to start being around this place. It's just eerie silent. I'm gonna do a call and uh, we're gonna end this video. Again, we want to welcome everybody. If you want to join us on these nonsense adventures, um, this has got to be fun. This is why we do this. It's it's not something, um, yeah, it's just relaxing. But we take it very serious. We are definitely looking for evidence of things like un anything unknown in Connecticut. This is just a fine place to be on the call, saying goodbye from Connecticut Crypto Investigative Society. Here, uh, we were going to go to an Autobahn place and missed it, so we ended up here. This place is awesome. I'm going to come out today. But I did hear things up in this direction. They want me to say goodbye, and we'll see you in another video in another location. And here we are, Thomaston, Connecticut, Lake Lawn Brook State Park. I'll try to do a good one. That sounds, I don't know, I don't think the camera is going to be That sounds like coyotes. High pitched. I'll do a high pitch.
stuff up your wife. Of course, now the brook goes up that way, and it's flooded, it's making a lot of babbling noises. But it's very voicey here. Connecticut Cryptid Investigative Society Field Investigation number 102 on location. Have a nice night, everybody. Okay, uh, we on the way out we kept hearing some stuff. I don't know, it's hard to tell because of the roof, but came on this thing and we're not on the trail. And this is just crazy. And what is this here? Little chops or something. Uh, so we're crazy far away from where any beaver would come. And these bite marks are not beaver. Beavers move down. This is this is crazy. And look at the shavings. I mean, this is a so this is a birch tree, the sweet birch. So they're looking for this stuff here. Something's eating this. Right? You get inside of that. You get to the green pith, as it's uh, not the pith, but you get to the green part of this. Is this birch? It's birch, but it's not sweet birch. Oh, but it still has all the birch oils, and they're they're going after this stuff. And that's just crazy. I don't know what to make of that. I've never seen anything quite like it. We're way the heck up on this ridge, and there's no sign of beavers down. Usually they all have those pointed. Yeah, it's a birch tree like this one. Something's eating this and making these crazy lines. So you never know what you're gonna get. On the way out, we both hear the team members thought that we were here and stuff. Of course, when you're a cryptid investigator, you're always here and stuff. Uh, but seriously though, no. it's dead quiet but it has this sort of voicey nature off to the distance, like the, the conversation. This, this is a cool location. So it's only as we're walking out did we start to hear birds. The entire time we were in that forest, it was dead silence except for this weird sense of being watched. Inaudible sounds in the background. What I thought was coyotes. Now the birds are carrying on. And we're leaving. You see we're on the dirt road now. Over here by the no trespassing signs. We've got a reservoir behind us. Only this far off, out off of the trail are there bird sounds. The birds are migrating right now, they should be everywhere. 